the reason this is so significant, because of our dense population, a little bit of our topography, we have the most difficult air basin in the United States to manage. We're here to celebrate the delivery of the first tier four locomotive in the history of the country. And so Metrolink has paved the way for us to do that by giving us an order for 40 of them in total. The idea that we would cut 85% of the particulate emissions and yet have a more powerful vehicle is, is really stunning that that could actually be the case, but it is. I'm delighted to be here in Los Angeles today to mark this historic occasion with delivery of the first Tier 4 passenger locomotive, the EMDF 125. Well, this locomotive, in comparison to the current Metrolink fleet, I mean, we're talking about a locomotive here that has 68% more horsepower than their current fleet and, has, and emits 85% less in emissions. So it's a huge difference, and, and all the while it's saving them fuel in the process. So this locomotive took uh, probably three years to design and deliver around that order of magnitude. It has some 13,000 part numbers on it. But it's uh, the latest and greatest in technology. It's advanced ahead of anything we've ever built. In fact, ahead of anything anyone else has ever built in North America. Well, this particular locomotive is uh, not only more powerful than any locomotive we've ever delivered in the passenger rail business, but it's also tier four emissions, which means it's the cleanest locomotive of any that we've ever delivered. Our goal remains the same, to provide customers with a full range of cost-effective quality rail solutions aimed at making the world a better place. We look to the future. We mark a new era of progress in the passenger rail market with our F-125. Thanks again to our partners at Metrolink and to the various proactive funding agencies. We're pleased to have built this modern, clean, and efficient locomotive you see here today. This is an incredible piece of equipment that uh, could not have happened without the collaboration and the years of experience that were put into it. The building of this locomotive was a collaborative effort. Many teams worked on it within our company and some outside of our company to produce what we think is the top shelf. And we set the bar high and we think we made it.